When you are the scapegoat child of a narcissistic mother, your narcissistic mother will abuse you, belittle you, and ostracize you, play favoritism, and just be downright mean to you for no apparent reason. It's like one day she's fine, and then the next day she just wants to start abusing you. Or one moment everything could be all okay, and then the next minute she's berating you and being belligerent for no fucking reason, and you as the black sheep are sitting here confused, like, what is the problem? What did I do? What did I do now? Why am I in trouble? Why am I being treated this way? And what is the problem? This is very confusing for a child because when the child knows that they have not done anything wrong, they have been broke anything they haven't broke any rules they haven't been disobedient they haven't been disrespectful and all they've done is just merely exist and just come around the family and their mother wants to treat them in such horrific ways it's very confusing because the child is asking themselves what is wrong with me for my mother to treat me this way instead of the child thinking what is wrong with my mother for treating her daughter this way a lot of the mistreatment that narcissistic mothers give their daughters or their sons or their children the child will tend to internalize the type of mistreatment that they get they think that something is wrong with them something is unlovable about them something about them makes them unworthy for human decency and respect and what this does is it lowers the self-worth and self-esteem of the child because the parent is just breaking down the child's spirit you see this a lot with mothers and daughters of narcissistic mothers with their scapegoat daughters because the daughter is more of a threat to the mother because she's a female she's young she has her youth she has her beauty she has her talents her gifts her confidence and when a narcissistic mother lacks this within herself when she lacks youth beauty talent gifts she will project her insecurities and how she feels about herself worthless unimportant unlovable she will project that onto her child, her daughter, to make her daughter feel just as low as she feels. This is a very sick thing for a mother to do because a mother is supposed to be a protector, a provider, a nurturer, a caregiver. She is supposed to be uplifting her daughter, building her up, not putting her daughter down and belittling her and tearing her down. A mother is supposed to protect her daughter from harm, but if the mother is causing harm for the child, then the mother is not doing her job. Especially this ruins any type of relationship that the mother and daughter can have specifically because the daughter needs to be able to trust her mother. But if the narcissistic mother is kind one moment and then very cold hearted the next moment she cannot trust her mother the child cannot trust how the mother is going to behave how the mother is going to act she won't be able to trust what she's going to get from her mother this causes the child to have to walk on eggshells this is what creates the child to be a people pleaser because they feel the need to please their parent and prove to their parent that they are worthy of love, of respect, of human decency, when all of that should just be a given. Children are worthy of being loved just for merely existing. Children deserve respect and they deserve human decency and children deserve so much better than what they receive from their narcissistic parent. A lot of times what can happen is when other siblings see the narcissistic mother being nasty and rude and mean to the scapegoat child, the siblings will sit back and watch. They won't intervene. They won't help. They won't comfort the child. They won't stick up for the child. They won't defend the child. They will sit back and watch in amusement as if it's entertaining to them. They will get this sick, sadistic satisfaction of watching their sibling being mistreated. 
they will even sit back and laugh at what the parent is doing to the other sibling, not realizing how wrong it is. And what this does is it creates a level of distrust that the scapegoat child can have with the rest of their siblings because they're like, you're sitting here watching our mother be abusive but yet you're not doing anything to intervene. You're not doing anything to help me. You would rather protect the abuser than to protect the one being abused. And this is why the scapegoat child tends to have issues with her siblings and doesn't have much of a relationship with them because the siblings were not taught or trained to defend and stick up for their sibling and love their sibling. No. The narcissistic parent triangulates siblings against each other by pinning them against each other, making them not defend each other, stick up for each other, stick up, stick up for each other because the parent wants to be able to berate a child on her own. She doesn't want to be ganged up on, but she will gladly have her and her children gang up on one sibling because the narcissistic mother can dish it out, but she cannot take it at all whatsoever.